Anderson. Delicate cross kick to the man out wide. Well, the best sequence of play probably in this tournament. The glory of Rugby Sevens is its emphasis on all-out attack, but with players fitter and defences meaner than ever before, increasingly teams are having to plot and scheme their way across the whitewash. Merriman sets off a veteran of many a Wheel Sevens campaign. Alan Brew, the tough guy, the speedster, turning somewhere inside and out. A tremendous run from Alan Brew. For Wales, the bedrock of seven strategy is patience. And there's been no better example of that than their Rugby World Cup Sevens campaign back in 2009. It's a try for Wales! But I think what we had there was threats all over the field. Maintaining our own possession was a huge thing, you know, when you take that contact, we were strong in it, everybody was strong in it, we made that extra yard. Here's a great chance for Wales! And he's patient, and Wales have the lead. In order to get that patience, we need experience, and I think we had a lot of experience in that, in that side, you know, combined with a lot of youth coming through, but very talented youth coming through. James Merriman, he's been on the circuit for a few years. Richie Pugh has been recalled for this championship in particular. Journeymen to all intents and purposes, but heroes one and all having got to this final. The experienced players in that position would not try and force things, would have patience and go that extra phase to score that try. We had a good mix of youth and experience in our team. Alan Thomas is in, and Wales have reclaimed the lead, celebrating in style. Wales are triumphant. They have won the Rugby World Cup 7 title here in Dubai. Little chip and chase, Africa's quick. It's a dive on the ball and the try. Each nation brings a slight variation. One team constantly striving to redefine the Sevens playbook is South Africa. I think for us it's, it's really about uh, you know, just creating a point of difference. And because we're one of the smallest teams on the circuit, we have to you know, create other opportunities for ourselves where we can exploit space and where we can manipulate the defense, you know, where we can create more opportunities for ourselves. We need to be different and just the way that we, we launch our attack and we set up our attacking plays is, is completely different to how all the other teams are playing. And that emphasis on innovation, not confined to open play. They've even employed the surprise rolling more and to good effect. All the teams are doing their analysis. They know exactly what you're going to bring on game day. So you have to create something else uh, to make it special and for you to, to break the defence line. I think people are always scared to implement you know, something, something different uh, because they don't know whether it's going to work or not. But I think once you overcome that fear of implementing new things, then it becomes easier. There are so many opportunities out there. You just have to go out there and just keep looking for the 1% that's going to make a difference in your attacking play. A lot of our play revolves around Fausto Lima, our attacking plays. But um, in saying that, I think the rest of the supporting cast have come through and then showed what they can do. This is great from Ken PC. Return pass from Paul Perez. Those two have really stepped up, and this is danger time. Perez, oh, he did it. How clever. And what of Fiji? The secret to their attacking game is that even they don't always know what's coming next. You can see that uh, most of our game are not structured. Uh, we play what's in front of us all the time. It's a dynamic game, it moves around all the time. So it keeps uh, changing uh, and that's why I think uh, uh, most of the team are finding it uh, very hard uh, to play against Fiji. And for some teams, Sevens is still all about speed. Collins and Chino, watch this guy go! This guy can burn the cross! Our brand is kind of like a free player, uh, the Fijian, uh, probably Pacific Islanders uh, style. And uh, we want to be probably the main uh, makers of uh, playing running rugby. Collins is one of the, I think, quickest players in the RB. And 
I feel like uh, speed is one of the main entities in sevens. What we try to create is a bit of uh, mismatches and put our players in space. And then we pre-plan the moves uh, in regard to first phase, second phase, third phase. We try at least to score after fourth phase. We mean business in terms of going forward. And if you want to be the best, you have to be able to dominate everything that we do.